Hello guys, in today's video we will talk about the shutter speed for video. The shutter speed is one of the factors that control your exposure, which is the shutter speed, the ISO or ISO and the aperture. In today's video guys, we will talk about the shutter speed and specifically for video, not for still. Shutter speed for video, it is totally different story than the shutter speed for still. What is shutter speed? Shutter speed is the amount of time how much we keep our image sensor exposed to the light and we measure this in seconds. How much time we keep the shutter open and we keep our image sensor exposed to the light. This is the shutter speed and we measure this as I said in seconds. So one second, two seconds, 150th of a second, 160th of a second, and like this. When you are choosing your shutter speed, you need to make sure you know what you are doing. Because if you choose low value, low shutter speed, slow shutter speed, then you are going to get motion blur in your video and nothing will be in focus. And if you choose high value, very high value for shutter speed, then there will be no motion in your video and your video will look something like not, not natural. So you need to pick the correct value for your shutter speed. In order to, to pick the correct value, you need to follow the 180 degree rule for shutter speed. And this rule, it is very simple. It is your frames per second multiplied by two. And this is your correct shutter speed. For example, I'm using now the Sony AX100 camera and I'm shooting 4K video with 25 frames per second. So what is my correct shutter speed? It is 25 frames per second multiplied by two equal 50. So 50 is the correct shutter speed for this video. And this is what I'm using now. I put the shutter speed 50 in my Sony AX100. And let's take another example. This is my Nikon D750 camera. This camera, it is capable of shooting full HD video with 60 frames per second. So if I will decide to shoot full HD video using this camera with 60 frames per second, the shutter speed that I have to use here is 60 multiplied by two, which is 120. This is the correct value to use. Some people now will ask, I'm using camera that is capable of shooting 24 frames per second. And some people, they love to shoot with the 24 frames per second because they believe this is the cinematic lock. Okay, so 24 multiplied by two, it is 48. There is no shutter speed 48, for example, in my Sony AX100 camera. So what to do? What to do is to use 50. In such cases, this small fraction is not this small number, I mean, is not a big deal, but you need to make sure to use the correct value and to follow the 180 degree rule, always when you are shooting video. Now guys, let's have more tests together. I'm using now the Sony AX100 and it is 24 frames per second. And I put the shutter speed to 50, which is the correct value as per the 180 degree. Now let me decrease this value. Let me try to have a very slow shutter speed. Let me change this configuration. I put the shutter speed here to six. See guys how the footage now is getting a lot of motion blur and almost nothing in focus. So when you need to do this, sometimes in cinema, we see such scenes when some kind of dreams, someone who is dreaming or uh, someone who is drunk, you will see the footage is like this. So it's a creative scene. If you need to do it and you know how to use it, you can do it. But this is not something normal and always we need to do. Let me now raise the shutter speed again. And now back to 50, which is the which is following the 180 degree rule, which is the correct natural cinematic lock shutter. Now let me raise it more beyond 50.
Okay, and now I make it 3,500, which is really, really too much. It is very fast shutter speed for videos. When you need such thing, you need such thing maybe for scenes that have intense or uh, the actor is in a situation that he is not comfortable or someone who is fighting, someone who is in a situation that he's completely not comfortable. And as you can see, guys, the image, oh, sorry, the footage is getting a lot, a lot darker because we are not keeping the image sensor exposed to the light enough to get the correct light. Let me bring it back to 50. Again, 250. So guys, the shutter speed, again, is how much we keep our image sensor exposed to the light. As much as we are increasing the shutter speed, making it fast, we will make the footage more darker and we use this usually with the scenes that when the actor is not comfortable and with the, when there is intense involved. And if we make it less, less than the correct value for the 180 degree and we start decreasing it a lot, then we will get motion blur and nothing will be in focus. So you need guys to make sure you are setting your shutter speed to the correct value before you start your recording. Thanks guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Share the video if you want to share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more and more videos and I will see you all in the next video.